In 2012, Ghana's net foreign reserves totaled U.S. $825 million. But as of March this year, those reserves fell to U.S. $498.5 million, marking a significantly sharp decline, which could result in serious problems to the country's financial and economic sectors. A perusal of the Bank of Guyana statistical abstract also shows that from the lows of U.S. $298.8 million 10 years ago, Guyana's foreign reserves were built up to the 2012 sum, and then it started dropping going to U.S. $751.2 million in 2013 and U.S. $652.2 million in 2014. The slide continued with the foreign reserves being recorded at U.S. $594.7 million at the end of 2015 before picking up in January 2016 and being recorded at U.S. $621.1 million. While the year 2016 saw the reserves fluctuate, it never strayed below the U.S. $500 million mark until the end of the year. In 2017, the reserves plunged again well into the U.S. $500 million range. By November of last year, the reserves were recorded at U.S. $562 million, and as of March 2018, for the first time since 2008, the net foreign reserves fell to below U.S. $500 hundred million dollars. At a press conference last month, Finance Minister Winston Jordan had admitted that from the 2017 end of the year economic report, the economy grew by a lackluster 2.1 percent. Sugar, bauxite and gold all underperformed and experts are positing that this could be playing a part on the drop in foreign exchange and reserves. The foreign reserves is not the only thing that has declined. According to the bank's statements of asset and liabilities, its total assets as of March 2018-28 were $206.4 billion. This includes $1.9 billion in gold reserves and $82.1 billion in capital market securities and $5.6 billion in money market securities. The outlook for the economy is grim. Michael Young, Cleveland News.